Well, hello there, Allie again. Um, obviously I'm driving. Um, I'm not touching my phone though. I have it stationary. Um, so I see a lot about different keto people that I watch and it says a lot of people say that keto on the go is tough. It's not tough. It's really not. All you gotta do is plan ahead. Um, throw some nuts, macadamia, pecans in a bag, bring a cooler with some cheese. I mean, that's not as easy, but nuts are my go-to in the car because um, they're easy. They're real easy. Um, at restaurants, it's easy. Um, I just left the Mexican restaurant with my sister and my aunt and a friend. And I had a couple of chips. I'm not going to lie. Lazy keto. I'm not going to say that I had no chips. That would be a lie. I had maybe three or four chips. Whatever. Um, I got something called arroz Cancun, which is shrimp, mushrooms, and cheese dip on top of a bed of rice. I got no rice, and I got a side thing of lettuce instead, and it was delicious. It just, it doesn't have to be that hard. This is going to be a super short video. I'm on the way back to work. It doesn't have to be that hard. <laughs> you know, it just, it doesn't. Um, you know, our pants are fitting better. And it's not difficult. It's difficult if you make it difficult. Yeah, yeah, they, they have a lot of tortillas there. But don't eat them. Like, I don't, I don't get it. And I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I just don't feel like it has to be as hard as some people make it. Um, one of the girls in our group today asked a valid question, you know, how, what else do I eat? I'm getting sick of eggs and bacon every day. And the first two weeks I got real sick of eggs and bacon. Same, same. But, you know, I, I scrambled, I switched up the cheese, I do cheddar sometimes, I do pepper jack sometimes. I want to try out Gouda or Havarti, maybe. Um, bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> I could eat bacon every day. But sometimes I do sausage links. Sometimes I do smoked sausage. If I have leftover steak, I'll do that. Or chicken. I don't really do chicken for breakfast. I think that's weird. But to each their own. <laughs> um, you know, or I make keto sausage balls. You know, my sister, if she gets sick of eggs, will just have an avocado with some hot sauce, which I'm not a huge avocado person. I love guacamole, but I don't know. The point of this is it doesn't have to be that hard. Um, do your research, figure out what works for you, and then just do it. That part's the hard part, doing it. That's the hard part. <laughs> um, making the baggies and nuts. But you know what? It takes me five minutes to make five baggies and nuts. Not even five minutes. I just put them in baggies and grab one, make sure I always have one in the car. If I don't have one in the car, guess what I do? Hang on. I'm, I'm not being unsafe. It's, it, I'm at a light, so, and, um, sort of. <laughs> but if I don't have time, I'm almost at a light. Can you tell I'm stalling? <laughs> if I do not have time to make baggies of nuts, shaking a lot. I will... I'm stopping. I'll grab the whole damn container. Bring it with me. Why not? It's almost empty. <laughs> but I mean, a serving size, that's the thing you have to be aware of, is a serving size is only a quarter of a cup. So it's not much. But, I mean, this has five carbs, two fiber, three net carbs. It keeps me on track. I try not to snack too much only when I'm really hungry. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, it could be easy. It can be easy for you. It's easy for me. You just got to put the time in. So, love you guys. Thanks for watching. And here's to seeing Lessa me in the next video. <laughs>